Hey, what's up, KSU? It's about that time to grab your sweater, your boots, and your scarves along with your new boo. Yeah, that's right. Today we're bringing you a special edition cuffing season video right to you. We'll be showcasing local students around Kennesaw to figure out what their cuffing type is and who they're actually cuffing. Let's go check it out. All right, man. So what do you like in a girl, her personality or her looks? Which one? Uh, I definitely have to say personality. I mean, you can be the most attractive person out there, but if you're a very rude person, it's an instant turn off. Okay, okay. And do you have any cuffing do's or don'ts? Uh, she definitely has to be a very funny person. She needs to love to laugh because, you know, you want to have fun with the person you're in a relationship with. All right, who do we have here? Kelsey Kenny. All right, Miss Kelsey, um, what are your cuffing do's or don'ts? Well, if someone is trying to cuff, then I don't think that they should go into it thinking that they're going to be cuffing. Okay. Because if you're too um, cuff aggressive, you're not going to cuff. Right. You got to be smooth. Got to be smooth with it. Got to be smooth. Okay. And I got a good question here. So do you prefer facial hair or no facial hair? Absolutely facial hair, but not a mustache. Because mustaches on by themselves are creepy. <laughs> you, know, look, okay. you look like a you look like a like a perv, like a weirdo. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> All right, man. Could you tell us your name? Yeah, man. My name's Will Mansfield. All right, Will. Um, so what are your cuffing do's or don'ts? <laughs> well, in order to cuff effectively, you first need to get to know her. Like, go out for some coffee, sit down, and be like, you know, tell me about your life. What's your, what's like your favorite pet? You know, get get to know the intricacies of the individual. Heck, even get to know what she likes to eat, her favorite food. Cook it for her, man. Like, that's, that's some of that real man stuff, you know? Right, so you, you throw down in the kitchen there. Dang straight, I'll throw down in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the, the redneck version of Chef Ramsay. <laughs> like, we get in there and make some awesome barbecue, some custom-made craft hamburgers, man. I mean, it's legit. All right, so um, would you cuff her if she has a lot of guy friends? <laughs> that depends on how big they are and if I can put the beat down on any one of them when they try to step into territory. All right, what apps do you use to lurk or investigate the guy you're trying to cuff? Well, as a professional lurker, I tend to use uh, Twitter and Instagram. All right, how are you doing today? I'm um, good, thank you. How are you? What's your name? Raquel. All right, Raquel, does age matter when you're cuffing a guy? Definitely. And the reason is because I feel like guys are already less mature than girls. And so if you know, even if you're the same age, he's already going to be a little bit less mature. So he definitely has to be a little older. All right. That's good to know. All right. So what apps do you use to lurk or investigate the guy that you're trying to cuff? Um, I would definitely say Facebook and probably Instagram. Those are the two I'm most comfortable with. So. All right. Could y'all tell us your names? I'm Juliana. I'm Chris. All right, Juliana, I have a question for you. Do you like guys with beards or no beards? I like guys with beards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and do you think girls should pay or should the guy always pay? I think it's acceptable for girls to pay, but I never offer her up to pay. Once again, I'm Chad Witcher, and you guys just got the exclusive inside scoop of cuffing season. Thanks for watching.